Good morning. Happy Monday. Feliz lunes. Welcome back to school. This is the beginning of a new week. And guess what? After Friday, you're going to be going home and enjoying a nice um, one week long spring break. So give it all you got this week. And uh, yeah, let's get to it. This is uh, Monday's morning math. So please do me a favor. Pull out a scratch sheet of paper and copy this expression, please. You got about 20 seconds. Let's, let's do it. PEMDAS expressions are always, always a good practice. In fifth grade, they get a little more difficult because you start to see um, decimals in your expressions. And sometimes that can cause a li little bit of confusion. All right, I'm, got to, I'm about to start in five seconds. All right, let's do it. Now, numerical expressions, it's pretty straightforward. In star problems, they're not going to ask you to put it together. They're going to give it to you ready just for you to solve. And the first thing you need to do is always rewrite it on um, the scratch paper you have on the, or the, the, um, any, any other than just um, on that space they give you in the word problem. Because they, they tend to be long and a little messy. But let's, let's take a look at this. Now, with, with numerical expressions, remember, I always start with the P, right, which is parentheses. The question you should ask yourself, do I have a parentheses here? Well, yes, I do. So that's the first thing you're going to be doing here. Now, normally, the work is going to start lay layering right under the expression. Okay, so you never want to start doing the whatever the... The problem is right under it. Just always do it to the side. So here, it's going to be, um, I'm going to put arrows, as, as so should you, on the operations that I need to do. So here, I need to do 6 plus 23 hundredths. Now, be careful, because that you need to make sure that you're lining up your decimals. So here, you know that 6 has a decimal place there so just go ahead and include it there and then you can just line them up so it's going to be six plus and remember you got the decimal 23 hundredths and line up the 23 with the decimals and fill in the space with zeros please and there it is as he has that so three plus zero three two bring down the decimals make sure that those are lined up and then you got a six right there. So when I add these two, I get six and 23 hundredths. And all you do is just bring the rest of the stuff down, right? You need to underline what you haven't used. In this case, I haven't used the times five. I still have something else to do inside the bracket, so I'm gonna keep this one. I'm gonna underline here and bring the rest of the stuff down. So bring in the bracket, because I have it, I still need it. Bring down the 45, bring down the minus, keep the bracket, and then the times five. Remember, if you have one bracket, you always gotta close it. Si no se le van las chivas, and then pa que quiere, right? You always keep wanna keep everything inside of it. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna go back to my PEMDAS, right? Do I have a parentheses here? No, I don't, but brackets kind of serve like parentheses, so I'm gonna go ahead and do this first. Okay, so I'm gonna put an arrow in the stuff that I'm gonna do next and underline what I haven't used. So remember, always on the side, 45 minus six and 23 hundredths. So I'm gonna do it right here. Remember, decimal, decimal, don't forget, 45 minus 6 and 23 hundredths, right? This is going to be 0, 0, and just subtract, right? Can I take away 3 from 0? No, so i got to borrow, but do I have enough here? 
I don't. So I'm gonna go ahead and go here, do minus one, that becomes four. This becomes 10, 10. Now you borrow from the 10, becomes nine, and now you got a 10 over here. 10 minus three, seven, nine minus two, again, another seven. Bring down the decimal. Can I take six from four? No, I can't. So I got to borrow from the three, from the four becomes three. I got 14, 14 minus six, come backwards, that's eight. And I got a three over here because I'm not taking anything away from it. Now, all you do here is Whatever you got there, you put it here, 38 and 77 hundredths, and bring down what you have in use. That's going to be 8 times 5. And now that's the last thing that you're going to do. This is a multiplication because I don't have anything else. I don't have a parenthesis. You haven't learned about exponents yet, but multiplication is the next thing to do. I'm going to erase this just so I have a... Oh, no. So I have a little bit more space. Let's see if I could, no, it doesn't do it. Okay. And I'm gonna go ahead and do my multiplication. 38 with 77 hundredths times five. Now, don't get intimidated by four digits on the top, okay? I know you don't do those often, but it's just a multiplication. Follow the algorithm and you're gonna get to the right answer. Now, just one last thing. Whenever you see here, here we didn't have to line up the decimals, but here we're done. When you're multiplying, you never line up decimals. Only when you're adding or subtracting. Don't forget that. 5 times 7 equals 35, 5 carry 3, 5 times 7, another 35, plus 3, that equals 38, 8, and you carry the 3. Do not bring down the decimal, okay? You never bring down the decimal when you're multiplying, okay? Now, eight time, 5 times 8 equals 40, but I've got 3 up here, 40 plus 3 equals that's right, 43, 3 carry 4, 5 times 3, 15 plus 4, 19. And I will put 19 here since I don't have anything else to multiply. Now, just remember how you do your decimals, okay? You count the number of spaces. You got 1, 2. That's two decimal spaces. You don't have any down here, so you only count the two. So if you move 2... To the right, guess what? Here at the bottom, you're gonna move two to the left. And that's where your decimal goes. Lots of steps in a problem like this. And you know, I was a fifth grade teacher for six years. And most of the time when my student would get this one wrong was not because they didn't know how to do it. Because we know that you know how to multiply. We know you know how you know how to divide, add, and subtract. But the most common mistake is that if you didn't organize your work, chances are you were gonna get it wrong. And they got it wrong. Also, whenever the numbers start getting big, kids start to get discouraged. Don't get discouraged. Just go take it piece by piece. And if you do it right, you're gonna have um, your um, your answer right here, okay? Awesome. Well, um, I was gonna do another problem with you guys, but let's take a look. This is much more simpler, okay? Now, I'm just gonna set it up for you. Well, actually, let, let's do it, let's do it, we got, we got the time. Now, 
Again, PEMBAS, right? Just take a second to write this, uh, draw a line to separate the work you just did from this one, and then write this on, this on one line of your paper. Quickly, please, you have about 15 seconds. Mr. Juarez always like to drink his coffee in the morning. Okay, you, let's say you opened up your star test, your practice star test, and this is the first problem you see. What is the first thing you do? Remember, you rewrite it. Rewrite it, especially if you, if you see something like this. Look at this. Does anyone remember what it means whenever you have a number next to a, either a bracket or a, um, or a parenthesis? That's right, you multiply, right? So just rewrite it, please. Putting a times in that space. That way you remind yourself that all you're doing is multiplying. Okay, that's it. That's all you're doing here. Oh, um, there you go. Okay. And now, it should be pretty easy to see. Look inside, okay, P the, the parentheses. You have this one, right? The multiplication. You have a multiplication and a, and a subtraction, right? The multiplication comes first, so we're gonna do it on the side. We're gonna do one and two tenths times two. Remember, when you're multiplying, do not line up the decimals. You do not need to do that when you're multiplying, okay? Two times two equals, let's try it, four. Two times one equals two. One to the right. Come on, guys, you're supposed to say one to the left. I'm going to practice that one again. You go one to the right. Good job. One to the left, right? So you got 2.4 right here. And bring the rest of the stuff down. You still have a, a, something else to do inside the bracket, so keep them, please. But make sure you bring the rest of the stuff down. 4.5 minus that much. And now you have brackets. Remember, brackets are like parentheses, so make sure you do those next. Four and five tenths minus two and four tenths. Line up the decimals, please, because you're subtracting here. One, two, and bring this one down. Underline what's next and bring it down. And at the end, you're, supposed, you're gonna end up with a multiplication like this. 2.1 times four, four times one, four, four times two, eight. Here it goes again. One to the right. Good job, okay, one to the left. So you got 8.4. And you simplified your expression. Okay, the rest of the time, if you can please just work on this problem that I've set up for you. And uh, yeah, make sure that you're following all the necessary steps to complete it. Remember, follow PEMDAS, okay? Just draw a line or turn the page if you don't have space and work in this one. You got this.